Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here from TM Blast. In this video, I'm gonna go over how I use the scan report for my clients. I'm gonna demo off TM Blast as the example. So let's get started. The target term here is a local SEO company. I'm doing a 35 mile radius. So I'm trying to see how competitive I rank for this particular phrase. So it's at a 68.6, which means 69% of the time I'm in the top three when you round up. The map here shows the dots one, two, and three it means you're on page one. Anything past that, you're not gonna be on page one. What do I mean by that? So if you search for the term local SEO company, I'm obviously in Saratoga Springs, so they're gonna show me at the top. This is my listing over here. So again, Google only shows three organic map pack listings on page one. There is a sponsor listing at the very top, that's an ad. If I clicked on more businesses, now this is a map search, and now you're gonna see more listings over here. You're gonna get all the competitors. Basically, most people only click on what's on page one. And the reason why I know that also is because when I look at my analytics for my Google My Business, um, only 6% of the time do people go onto a map search to then find my business. So the other 94% of the time is specifically somebody doing a Google search on their phone or on desktop and then finding my business because it's on page one for the term SEO or digital marketing, local SEO, all that kind of stuff. So this is what I kind of uh, like to do. The scan report has an AI feature from Local Falcon. I think this is mediocre. I don't think it's that great. However, I do think if you are a beginner in local SEO, it's quite valuable because it gives you at least some idea of what you can do. Things that I already know. They can say things like, um, you want to get more reviews. I already know that. I only have 28. I've recorded this as of March 4th, uh, 2024. So obviously I need more reviews for that. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. They'll also list up things like certain categories you might want to be listed on. That makes sense too. Um, but I wouldn't take too much stock into what the AI report shows. I just think it's just directionally, it's just gonna have a second opinion. Um, what I really like to do though, is look at the competitor. Actually, before I do that, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of this report, go by all the AI suggestions, you're gonna get exactly who ranks at the top. So for me, it's, it's me, TM Blast. But then you get all the other competitors below and their share of local voice. Now this isn't that helpful because it's all as one page. So what I like to do is I like to go to the competitor report and like look at each one individually. So you click on view competitor report. It's gonna load a new screen. It's gonna show you again, the term local SEO company. It's gonna to default to position one, which is me, TM Blast. So you can click on Manix Marketing. You can click on Capital District Digital. You can keep changing them. The map, you know, obviously keeps changing. However, this isn't that helpful because you don't really know what to do with it. So what I like to do is click on the compare locations I'm gonna uh, compare, uh, I'll start with Mandex Marketing, that's fine. Compare businesses. So now I have a side-by-side, -side, TM Blast and Mandex Marketing. So a couple things that always stand out to me when I look at my own business is my phone number. Um, uh, Mandex Marketing has a 518 number, I have an 877 number. Now, um, I've, had a, I've had this toll-free number now for many years. Um, back when I was in Boston, now I'm in uh, New York. And even though 877 is not have anything to do with Boston. I've just had this number now for so long. But when I look at upstate New York, I know the 518 area code is actually quite critical to have. It builds more trust. And that's an area code specific to the uh, upstate New York region. So if I was to advise myself, and if I want to rank a little bit better locally, uh, this number is actually quite important. The 518 maybe should be changed out. Let's look at a few different competitors as well to see if everyone else is doing kind of the same thing. So I'm going to go back to the selection over here. Let's look at the next one, Capital District Digital. Let's see what they're doing. Again, 518. Let's look at the third one. Back to selection. Let's look at Merge Digital. Compare. And actually, they have a different number, 631. Let's look at one more. How about we go to... Uh, eVision 518. Okay, so I just did a bunch of random um, reviews. Most all had 518, one did not. So, anyway, that's one opportunity. So, again, if you're a local company, let's say you're a plumber in Brooklyn, New York, or let's just pretend you're in Saratoga Springs. If you are kind of like me, if you have a phone number that's not 518, you might want to consider getting a second phone number specifically for your business and make sure it's the area code 518. It'd be a great, great way. To, um, to improve your rankings because if all your competitors have it and you don't, um, it could be a way to kind of uh, boost ranking. Plus also from a user standpoint, they're gonna see 518 and then think you're uh, local as well because 877 is obviously a toll free 800 number, not the best. Let's go back to the selection one more time. 
actually yeah we'll stay with manix marketing so what i like to do here is look at the categories so obviously we both have internet marketing service and then they have service establishment and then they have website designer i don't offer website design so i don't have that service establish establishment i'm not exactly sure what that means so i might look into that so again for my clients uh or even for myself this is kind of like the, the analysis that i do so i'm like okay 518 toll free um 518 phone number that's an opportunity this category service establishment might want to look into that too obviously they have 64 reviews i have 28 i know they have a review gap so i need to make sure i'm getting more reviews so whether i'm doing free local seo audits or if i'm doing great work for a client i said to remind myself to continuously push for reviews from anyone that I've worked with or working with to see if they can leave me something uh, for my business. I've only started to get a, become a better job at that at the end of 2023, but uh, I've had my business now for a while and I just was not getting reviews because I didn't even care. So now it's like I'm trying to you know play catch up with that and trying to get more reviews to help with my uh, local rankings. Um, let's look at a few more things too. So their map, as I, as I mentioned, you know they rank pretty well in the north uh east uh quadrant that's actually where their business is and everything else below that not so much so if the northeast was really important for me to rank in the in this map that i'm showing here this 35 mile map um i might look at the map and list off certain towns and 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 cities that if it made sense for me to kind of put down as like a service area or an area that i can travel out to i might you know do that so again if you're like a local plumber let's say in saratoga springs you might want to look at the map and say if your competitors are all ranking better in an area that you actually serve and you don't rank as well you might want to consider adding that um that town as an uh, area served on your google my business you can even do things to like an update or a q a and just kind of uh, show that you do business out in this uh, location uh let's look at a few more things i'm going to just zoom out a little bit let's move this over here exit out um when you do the competitor review, by the way, you can see exactly the primary category. So it's always the first thing. So internet marketing service, internet marketing, marketing agency, et cetera, et cetera. You can keep going through the entire list. You can, you know, get an idea of how, you know, who's ranking for what. Um, so again, again, the term is local SEO company. I'm looking at my Google My Business profile right over here. Um, what I like to do is do a control F, search for local SEO company. And you can see here that just on page one of the cache version of TM Blast, this phrase does not show up anywhere. So again, when I'm thinking about this for my own business or for my clients too, I'm gonna say, okay, this is a target term you wanna go after. You don't even use this phrase. I'm sure I have the term local SEO. Yeah, I do, you know, everywhere. YouTube and description and updates. But what I would do is if you don't have, if you have the space in the description, you can certainly add that. So what I mean by that is if you go to your, um, uh, profile over here and you can uh, click on the pencil icon you can search for or you can add the phrase local SEO company that can help you rank better um, but if you don't have the space to do that you can always add it as a Q&A uh, down here where it says see all questions so what you can do is say something about like what makes your local SEO company interesting so again think of it like if you're a plumber in uh, Saratoga you might want to say something about like do you serve certain areas or uh, how long have you been in business as this or what are your credentials or, or certificates to be a plumber um, you can kind of ask these questions and kind of answer them as well and then finally what you can do too is use the update uh, feature over here so what i mean by that is that you can say something about your you know for me for example i might make a post about being a local seo company so i might say that i travel to meet uh, certain companies or i speak at events or i go to networking events or i do a lot of uh, free local audits for companies out in the saratoga area as a local seo company um etc so anyway i hope this video was interesting with um some things you can do so again local falcon scan the report you have ai suggestions you have the competitors that you can look at you can look at um side by side features you can then add uh to your google my business account and then of course you can then click on this button over here which says uh, run scan again so you can then do a trend report to see if the changes that you made have improved your ranking uh, and thus drove more uh, potential traffic then to your business so anyway i hope this video was helpful uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and as always have a good rest of your day